Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michaela and I'm Loretta. And today we are at Arigato Japan's cooking class where we are going to learn how to make wagashi, which is traditional Japanese sweets. Today we're learning to make Japanese traditional sweets using different types of mochi flour. First, we're using shiratamako to make round mochi balls. This powder feels crunchy to the touch because it's mixed with potato starch, resulting in a more rubbery mochi texture when cooked. <laughs> Loretta got stuff in her hair. We have no idea how or why. <laughs> to make this healthy treat, all you need to do is mix one part shiratamako and one part tofu and boil the rice cakes until they're cooked. Once they're done, carefully set them aside to cool. And that's it. Are you having fun? Yeah, definitely. You actually get to see what you're eating. A lot of times when you see, you see wagashi everywhere you go across Japan, but you don't know like what actually goes into it. Mm. So now that you actually get to see what goes into it, it's like, it looks it's better, it tastes better. Next, we're making Ichigo Daifuku, an iconic Japanese dessert filled with bean paste and fresh strawberries. Our first step is to prepare the filling by coating our fresh strawberries in the bean paste and setting them aside. It's important to leave the tip of the strawberry uncovered because it looks better that way. For this recipe, we're using a combination of the starchy shiratamako powder and mochiko, a powder that makes a more soft and gooey type of mochi. As they cook in the microwave, they form a texture similar to hard rubber. It's almost impossible to stir. Oh wow, it's very sticky. Very sticky. I don't think I can do this. I'm yeah, not strong sorry. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, that's enough. I'm so weak. Thank you, thank you. No. <laughs> so weak. <laughs> Cooking is tiresome. If you want to make a... Finally, once the mochi is done, it's covered in starch and cut into small pieces. These small pieces are then used to cover the bean paste and strawberry fillings that we set aside earlier. Let it be down. Let it down. Let it down. Oh, then it's Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, wait, wait. okay so... Oh, beautiful, beautiful, that's exciting. <laughs> Um, basically, you put the strawberry tip at the top, and then you put the mochi over it. So when you make it, you have this little like red. These are. I don't know if you can see it's red. Red dot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very cute. I think I did it. I think I did it. You did good. Oh, you did. Okay. Us Westerners tend to dress our desserts in sugar, sugar, and more sugar. But instead of chocolate or caramel syrup, traditional Japanese sweets like to rely on the natural sweetness of fruits and bean paste to complement the delicate flavor of the mochi. <laughs> wow. so cute. Shiratama made with tofu and rice cakes with strawberry and bean paste. Yep, this is one healthy snack. We have these gorgeous Ichigo Daifuku. I made these. I made these. Maybe. I don't know. Someone else might have made this one, but I helped. Yeah, yeah. And that's important. And you got. So for all of you who are visiting Tokyo and you're looking for some cool stuff to do, you should check out Arigato Japan. I'll put the link in the description below. The class, the cooking classes are also really good, but they also do food tours late at night where um, they walk around neighborhoods and they drop into little mom and pop restaurants and try some traditional food. And it's places that, as a tourist, you wouldn't normally get to try out. So it's a great way to experience a little bit more authenticity when you're in Japan, especially in Tokyo where it's very, you know, normally very touristy. Yeah. So you can learn more about Arigato Japan by checking out the link in the description.